So if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur of any sort, what gets your business working and up and running are business leads. So if you are struggling with landing new leads or struggling in maintaining them, this video is perfect for you. Because in this video today, we are going to be discussing about how to attain new business leads. So if you're in need, keep on watching. Hi guys, I'm Anarsi and welcome to Startup Lounge. Here we help entrepreneurs build, fund and grow their businesses. So if you're interested, please do stick around. Before jumping into how to keep leads and how to make new leads come by your way, let's discuss about what is lead generation to begin with. So lead generation is the act of actually gaining actionable customer interest for your business's output. So this means it involves a customer taking interest in you, such as starting a conversation with you or providing you with their contact information as to getting a follow-up session with you to discuss more about your product or services. Now, for example, if you're a law firm, what sort of actions would you call getting a new lead? This could be an email from a potential client. This could be in form of a phone call from a potential client trying to get to more about setting up a consultation. Or it could be a direct message on any social media platforms asking for a rate. And lastly, it could be a form submission from a potential customer discussing about your services. Now that we have understood what leads are, let's get into the bigger picture here. And that is how do we get these leads? So. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, and that is referrals. Now referrals are your best shot at getting quality leads. And this is because referrals usually imply as to how trustworthy you are and how much value you provide. Additionally, referral sources can confirm what the experience was working with you. So for referrals, always pay attention to the quality of the work that you provide to your customers. The better you work, the better referrals you get. Point number two, former clients. Reach back out to those inactive accounts or find out who their competitors were so that you can understand who are actually more open to new ideas and then reach out to them. Now these people could be your own former clients or just unclaimed former clients that nobody in your business or company is currently working with. So by doing that, you're gonna find more leads Point number three, competitors. So look out for your competitors at all times because they might have a lot of dissatisfied clients or some clients that just have discontinued working with them and are looking for other different companies that better satisfy their desires. So what you can do is make undeniable appealing approaches to these new people. That way you're gonna get new leads. Also, always look at what your competitors are doing right and what are they doing wrong so that you can improve yourself. Whatever they're doing right, you can acclaim and improve and whatever they're doing wrong, you can do right, if you know what I mean, yeah? So this is going to give you more leads and your pathway to success is going to get even more brighter. Point number four, business and sales intelligence tools. Please do use business and sales intelligence tools such as Winmo, Datanize, and Hoover's. To find resources that are going to be good for your industry, do online searches for sales intelligence tools and then find creative ways to use these tools. For example, you might look for industry associations or board certified companies in certain categories. And then you can also search for conference with sponsors, with speakers and participants that can be good prospects for your industry. Point number five, and this is probably my favorite one, and that is Google resources. Google can help you find leads in many ways. A simple Google search such as top plastic surgeons around my area can give you a lot of information such as location, reviews, blogs, and more about the category that you just searched about. And Google can also send you emails alerting you about potential prospects or clients. 
And then Google Maps can also show you any prospects that are nearby you. It can send you the location of prospects that you are targeting in an area. Point number six, LinkedIn. Go on LinkedIn and search for relevant job titles, industries, and groups that you are targeting. For example, if you're in media sales, search for marketing director or marketing coordinator and seek these people out who are on LinkedIn and reach out to them. Message them. This is how you're going to get more leads. And then point number seven, and that is a very important point, and that is relationship marketing. While there's a lot to be found online, remember to move from certain research to building relationship. Think of the prospecting process as relationship marketing. Go to industry events, meet people face to face, try to reach out to people online, make personal relationships with them so that they can trust you. And if they do, voila, more leads. Please do not fall into the trap that all the good accounts are taken. That is not true. There are good accounts right there in front of you, in front of your fingertips, ready for you to reach out to them. And another pro tip, consider blocking 30 to 40 minutes every day for looking for leads and attempting to book appointments with them. But be sure to have valid business reasons for setting up these appointments. And guys, this is it for me today. I hope you had a good time in this video learning about how to get leads. Please do try out these techniques and let me know how they go for you in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like and comment and share. Anyway, see you on the next one.